Only noobs die to the most random things. It could be one zombie, it could be a horde, or it could be the origin's foot because they just missed where they were supposed to shoot. These things generally don't happen to pros because they either have jug, a wonder weapon, or just overall more experience. Most noobs will open the forbidden doors. These are basically doors that players should leave closed, like this door on Kindred or Toten, or this one on Nuketown, or this one on Mob of the Dead. Leaving these doors closed makes sure the zombies stay out of the way when training in these areas. That was only two of the 22 things noobs noobs do in COD Zombies. Later in the video, I cover noobs using horrible guns, not knowing how to deal with boss zombies, and not using strats that every pro knows. Let's continue. I see a lot of noobs grab power-ups instantly when they see them, whether it's grabbing a max ammo before reloading all the way, getting a nuke at the beginning of the round when they could have killed the zombies for more points, or even grabbing a double points right at the end of a round so it runs out just before the next round starts. Pros will take their time with these power-ups, meaning reloading all the way, or kill some zombies and and then grab the nuke, or make sure they get the double points at the beginning of the round. Noobs usually don't know that the ray gun can do explosive damage to them. If a pro knows that they're going to be using the ray gun, they'll make an effort to acquire items that negate explosive damage. Depending on the game they're playing, it could be the perk PhD flopper, or the danger closest gobblegum. Many noobs kill off the last zombie of the round when they're supposed to hold it. Some things that could have happened are A, they just got stuck when they're training it, B, they damaged it and left it in the distance and it bled out, or C, they just forgot that they were supposed to hold it. Pros generally recognize that it's not fun to hold the last zombie, but it's one of the most important roles on a zombies team, and because of that, they try to be pretty careful with the last one. Some noobs like to buy Quick Revive in co-op. They usually don't realize that Quick Revive only revives them when they're playing on solo, and for co-op, it only decreases the time it takes for them to revive other players. Usually, noobs will buy a lot of perks before they get Jug. For solo, Quick Revive should be the only perk that's bought before Jug, but for co-op, Juggernaug should probably always be the first. A lot of noobs use really bad guns. Some of these could be the War Machine, the SMR, or the Ballistic Knife. Most pros realize that if they hit the box once or twice and don't get anything good, they should probably go get a wall gun just so they can survive. Speaking of the mystery box, noobs generally spend way too many points on it early in the game. Most early game purchases from pros are Quick Revive on Solo, Doors, Juggernaug, and maybe a starter gun like the M14. Then once they get the power on and maybe open pack a punch, they can go start spending all their points on a bunch of mystery boxes. This one might be obvious, but some noobs just don't know really basic things about Call of Duty Zombies. Like that the power needs to be turned on, or they didn't even know what Juggernaug is, or what Pack-a-Punch even does. Pros obviously know all this because they're pros, but if a noob is this lost when they first start, pros suggest watching a beginner's guide on YouTube. A lot of noobs will actually use the starting pistol to kill the zombies on round one, but the pros will use eight shots to the leg and then knife to get the most amount of points possible. I see a lot of noobs who never build the shield. It's the best way to survive longer because half your body is protected from zombie damage. One strat pros use is when running towards a zombie, they jump and turn their back so the zombie hits the shield instead of them. Noobs usually get their guns stolen from the Pentagon thief and then are really confused about what just happened. This probably happened to everyone at some point, but the best way to deal with the Pentagon thief is either Mustang and Sally, the ray gun, or use a death machine. Most noobs probably think that the perks spawn randomly on Shadows of Evil, and they do to a certain extent. Extent. Pros know that there's broken perk bottles at the entrance of every wing to tell the player what perks spawn there in their game. Most noobs don't know about the super easter egg in BO3. If players complete every easter egg in BO3, with revelations being the last one they do, they can start every game with the RK5 and the starting pistol as a reward. Usually pros will have these easter eggs completed and will use starting with the RK5 to their advantage. Most noobs don't know that you can control how you knife a zombie. If you move backwards or stand still when knifing, it'll swipe but if you move forward towards the zombie, it will lunge you in. This is always worse because you're potentially in danger of getting downed or just hit in general, and knifing usually takes place before players have jug. A lot of noobs don't use the bank in BO2 to their advantage. It can be really useful, especially on maps like Transit, where getting points and guns can be a hassle. Some pro tips for the bank is to farm a lot on Buried because you can get chalk buys for easy points, or you use the who's who method on Die Rise where you can double your points in the bank. Usually noobs grab maps max ammos instantly, but what the pros do is use as much ammo, monkey bombs, or grenades before they pick it up, because all of that will be refreshed when they grab the max ammo. Many noobs don't know the advanced zombies movement. Depending on what game the player's on, there could be speedrun movement on BO2, where you run and then jump, and then for BO3, the fastest way to travel is via the G-slide, where you run and jump, and while you're in the air, hold down your slide key so that when you land, you slide, and then jump out of the slide and do it all over. A lot of noobs don't pro 
own at the perk machines. Pros know that doing this gives an extra 100 points to the player, except on Origins where it only gives 25. Most noobs will always pick up Carpenters. If a pro is going for high rounds, they won't pick them up because it'll just slow the zombies down from getting into the map. Noobs always have the best mystery box luck. I don't know how they do it. They always get a ray gun first hit and then a Galil right after. It makes no sense. Everyone was a noob at some point, so if you experienced any of these, you have to watch this video. Have a nice day.